Hello and welcome to the Old Golden Black for this Aruba Neves special. There's been a few rumours that have been flying around recently, which we'll come to in a minute, but I think I just want to appreciate how good he's been for us this season. I honestly don't think there's been a player for Wolves ever that has been as good as Ruben Neves has been this season. The protection that he offers the back five and the way he moves the ball forward is superb and he really is irreplaceable, I think, in our team. And that's something that I want to come on to now because there have been rumours tonight that Manchester United are interested in signing him in the summer to replace Ander Herrera, who apparently is going to Atletico Madrid. Now, first of all, I want to say that Ruben Neves came in the summer and signed a five-year contract, or a long contract, certainly, which obviously, coming to a championship team, signing up for this project in the championship, in the second tier, why would he not then stay for another year in the Premier League is what I hope is going to happen. I would love to get one season of him in the Premier League, but he's a Champions League player in the making and he's a you know a top European player, I think, uh, certainly. But then also, who would we get to replace him? Is the, I can't think of a player in world football in that central defensive midfield role who is better than Ruben Neves. People, I've had this conversation with people in work before, but now I'm opening it up to you, the subscribers. Is there anybody in European or world football who's better in his position than Ruben Neves? You could say Kante, perhaps, but this season, has Kante been better than Neves? I don't think so. Herrera is possibly the only other sort of comparable player. Uh, Fernandinho, maybe, but... For me, Ruben Neves, at the age that he is and the potential that he's got, there is nobody in world football who's better than him in his position. And then, of course, the sort of transfer fee that we could command from Ruben Neves. We signed him for 16 million or there or thereabouts in the summer. What would you think his value would be now? Personally, I think we could command a fee of between 30 and 40 million for a player like Neves and with the sort of club that's coming after him. You could certainly see Manchester United paying between that sort of money for a young European centre-back. If they were signing him from Porto, there wouldn't be any question about them signing a player for 30, 40 million. But because it's Wolves, there would probably be a few question marks about it. So let me know what you think about the Ruben Neves rumours. Are you worried? Do you think he will give us another season in the Premier League if we get there? And don't forget to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and come back tomorrow for a preview of Saturday's game against Reading. And fingers crossed that's on because another Ruben Neves point He's, of course, suspended for the game on Saturday. If that's postponed because of this cold weather and snow, which I hope it isn't, he would then, of course, be suspended for the Villa game instead. So but somebody tweeted earlier on that they would take a crack on the head so that Neves can play against the Villa, and I am on board with that tweet. Great tweet. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.